Good day everyone. Sana ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. We're on our second week in answering our module for the third quarter. Our lesson for today is about the effects of force on objects movement. You have learned from your previous lessons that force is either a push or a pull. The shape of an object changes when force is applied on it. When force is applied to an object, the size of an object may also change. In this module you will learn the effect of force on the movement of objects. The changes occur to the movements of objects when force is applied on it. Let's start our lesson with an activity. What happens to these objects when force is applied? I'll give you one minute to prepare, or just pause this video if you need more time. Let's start. Push your chair. Pull the drawer of your cabinet. Lift your bag. Open your bag. Stretch a rubber band. Move the table. Pulling up your pants. Kick a ball. Close or open the door. Open or close the window. What happened when you apply force on the object? Force is a push or a pull. A chair cannot move from one place to another without force. When force is applied, things can move. It can cause change in position of an object. When greater force is applied, the object moves faster, and when lesser force is applied, an object moves slower. Now let us watch a video about the effects of force on objects' movement. Good day everyone. Our lesson for today is about force. What is force? Force is the strength or energy as an attribute of physical action or movement. Or simply, a force is a push or a pull on an object. How can force affect the movement of an object? Lesser force makes the toy car move into nearer distance. Greater force makes the toy car move into farther distance. But how about if we move light and heavy objects? We can move light objects easily by using lesser force. We can move heavy objects by using greater force. Remember. Force is the strength or energy as an attribute of physical action or movement. Or simply, a force is a push or a pull on an object. If we move an object with lesser force, nearer distance may be covered. We also use lesser force for moving light object. If we move an object with greater force, farther distance may be covered. 
We also use greater force for moving heavy objects. I hope you learned today. See you next time. Did you learn something in the video? What have you learned? Force can make objects move, stop, slow down or speed up a moving object. It can also change the direction of an object's movement, as well as change the size and shape of object. When a force is applied to an object or a thing, it can cause change in position. When greater force is applied, the object moves faster, and it can cover further distance. When lesser force is applied, an object moves slower, and nearer distance may be covered. Let's have another activity. Prepare your toy car and do this activity. You will have 5 trials in pushing your toy car. Each trials will have different levels of force, like less force, in Tagalog mahinang force, next is average force or katamtama na force, then strong force or malakas na force, stronger force or mas malakas na force, and finally strongest force or pinakamalakas na force, but wait, hindi ninyo kailangang ipush ng sobra ang inyong toy car, control your force according sa lugar na pinag gagawa ninyo ng activity, you can seek help from your guardian in doing this activity. Answer the last column, write the distance covered on each trials, you can choose your answer here, nearer in Tagalog is mas malapit, nearest is pinakamalapit, far is malayo, farther is mas malayo, and farthest is pinakamalayo, I'll give you 5 minutes in doing this activity, or you can just pause this video if you need more time. Here's the answer. Are your answers correct? Question. How do you compare the distance traveled by the toy car when you pushed it with varying strength of forces? Answer. The distance traveled by the toy car varies when you push it with different levels of force. What factors do you think affected the movement of the toy car? Answer, the force applied while pushing the toy car affected its movement. Which degree of force applied made the toy car travel the farthest from the starting point and nearest the starting point? Answer, greater force or strongest force, lesser force or less force. Remember, force is either push or pull. Using greater force can make the object's movement travel farther.
using lesser force can make the object's movement travel nearer. Now for our assessment. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper, answer only, you can pause this video if you need more time in answering. Assignment. Have an advanced study about the effects of changing the amount of force applied to an object. I hope this video helped you in answering this module. See you next lesson. Bye!